National Socialism is a far-right political ideology associated with Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party. National Socialism is a form of fascism, with disdain for liberal democracy and the parliamentary system. The ideology puts the interests of the folk before anything else, embracing a blood and soil mentality. The doctrine is anti-democratic and hierarchical. Claims that National Socialism is a form of socialism is untrue. While the ideology does incorporate some socialist ideas, Hitler firmly believed in creating a new German aristocracy. The Nazi elites were envious of Britain's success in creating a global empire and felt that the key to their success had been the British class system. The SS was created to become the new aristocracy of Germany. The origins of the National Socialist Movement can be found in Pan-Germanism and the ethno-nationalist neo-pagan folkish movement which had been a prominent aspect of German nationalism since the late 19th century. Folkish nationalism denounced soulless materialism, individualism and secularized urban industrial society while advocating a superior society based on ethnic German folk culture and German blood. It denounced foreigners and foreign ideas and declared that Jews, Freemasons, and others were traitors to the nation and unworthy of inclusion. Folkish nationalism saw the world in terms of natural law and romanticism and it viewed societies as organic, extolling the virtues of rural life, condemning the neglect of tradition and the decay of morals, denounced the destruction of the natural environment and condemned cosmopolitan cultures. National Socialism subscribed to scientific theories of a racial hierarchy, identifying ethnic Germans as part of what they regarded as an Aryan or Nordic master race. The ideology sought to overcome social divisions and create a homogeneous German society based on racial purity which represented a people's community. The Nazis aimed to unite all Germans living in historically Germanic territory, as well as gain additional lands for German expansion under the doctrine of Lebensraum and exclude those whom they deemed either aliens or inferior races, Hitler and other National Socialist legal theorists were inspired by America's institutional racism and saw it as the model to follow. In particular, they saw it as a model for the expansion of territory and the elimination of indigenous inhabitants, including laws denying full citizenship for African Americans, which they wanted to implement against the Jews, and for racist immigration laws banning some races. In Mein Kampf, Hitler extolled America as the only contemporary example of a country with racist, focused citizenship statutes in the 1920s, and National Socialist lawyers made use of the American models in crafting laws for Nazi Germany. U.S. citizenship laws and anti-miscegenation laws directly inspired the two principal Nuremberg laws, the Citizenship Law and the Blood Law. The Nazis argued that free market capitalism damages nations due to international finance and the worldwide economic dominance of disloyal big business, which they considered to be the product of Jewish influences. Nazi propaganda posters in working class districts emphasized anti-capitalism, such as one that said, the maintenance of a rotten industrial system has nothing to do with nationalism. I can love Germany and hate capitalism. Nazi ideology advocated excluding women from political involvement and confining them to the spheres of children, kitchen, church. Hitler's own opinion on the matter of women was that the National Socialist goal was essentially singular in that it wished for them to produce a child. Hitler once remarked about women that, with every child that she brings into the world, she fights her battle for the nation. The man stands up for the folk, exactly as the woman stands up for the family. The term National Socialism arose out of attempts to create a nationalist redefinition of socialism as an alternative to both Marxist international socialism and free market capitalism. National Socialism rejected the Marxist concepts of class conflict and universal equality, opposed cosmopolitan internationalism, and sought to convince all parts of the new German society to subordinate their personal interests to the common good. The party's precursor, the German Workers' Party, was founded on the 5th of January 1919. By the early 1920s, the party was renamed the National Socialist German Workers' Party in order to appeal to left-wing workers. The National Socialist Program, or 25 points, was adopted in 1920 and called for a united Greater Germany that would deny citizenship to Jews or those of Jewish descent, while also supporting land reform and the nationalization of some industries. 
In Mein Kampf, published in 1925, Hitler outlined the antisemitism and anti-communism at the heart of his political philosophy as well as his disdain for representative democracy, over which he proposed the leader principle and his belief in Germany's right to territorial expansion through Lebensraum. The National Socialists won the greatest share of the popular vote in the two Reichstag general elections of 1932, making them the largest party in the legislature by far, albeit still short of an outright majority. Because none of the parties were willing or able to put together a coalition government, Hitler was appointed Chancellor of Germany on 30 January 1933 by President Paul von Hindenburg through the support and connivance of traditional conservative nationalists, who believed that they could control him and his party. With the use of emergency presidential decrees by Hindenburg and a change in the Weimar Constitution which allowed the cabinet to rule by direct decree, bypassing both Hindenburg and the Reichstag, the Nazis soon established a one-party state. The Sturmabteilung and the Schutzstaffel functioned as the paramilitary organizations of the Nazi party. Using the SS for the task, Hitler purged the party's more socially and economically radical factions in the Night of the Long Knives. After the death of President Hindenburg in 1934, political power was concentrated in Hitler's hands, and he became Germany's head of state as well as the head of the government. From that point, Hitler was effectively the dictator of Nazi Germany, 